That's right, for this list we'll be bringing you the top 10 golf courses in Northern Ireland. Yeah, we already did Dublin and we already did Ireland. Now we're going to hit Northern Ireland and look at those top golf courses. And starting off at number 10, fortunately is one of those private golf courses. But we're going to uh, discuss it nonetheless. Now this course was built in 1927, which is 95 years old course hosted major championships like the Irish Open in 1949 and also 1953. Course was designed by famous golf architect Harry Colt. It plays as a par 71 and the course stretches 6,695 yards and also that in meters is 6,000 113 meters the course record is a 62 and it's one of those in believable golf courses to start us off that holds a lot of character and and there's a lot of good golf coming up it's also important to note that this course is completely opinionated and we use resources from already ranked golf courses and then put some good footage together now this next course is got to be one of the oldest one that's listed at built in 1618 by Samuel Gidman of course is open year-round and it's pretty long stretching 7,105 yards from those back tees now there's a total of four tee boxes to choose from and when you're looking at the back tees you're stretching and you have a rating of 74.3 and a slope of 131. If you decide to play for the white tees, course stretches 6,678 yards with a slope of 127. And there's a lot to offer here at this golf course because it is open to the public and is one of our public golf courses on this list. The course looks to be about 115 euros during the busy season to play it and also April to October only 85 euros. Now it's important to note that we'll be taking this channel international and be playing some of the golf courses in Ireland. So if you live near any of these golf courses comment below and let us know even if we missed a golf course which one to go and play. That's going to break us now into the top eight golf courses left to play. Let's zoom in now to number eight. It's fortunately another public golf course that we're hoping to get out there and play. Now this course only stretches 6,305 yards with a par 70. The course was built in 1925 by famous golf architect H.S. Colt. It had some big updates in 1998 by Donald Steele and then again it looks like by some other folks in 2011. There's a lot to like at this public golf course and it, quickly looking it looks like green fees are a little bit over 100 euros but that could be wrong you gotta register and we're not gonna do that on this channel but hopefully if we get close to maybe playing this course as one of our targets on our trip to Europe now we still have seven more golf courses to take a look at some of the best golf is located all around this area and we're lucky to take some great aerial footage of it so let's zoom in now to number seven on our list this golf resort really does have it all it was built by golfer and also turned golf designer Nick Faldo. This course is one of the parkland style courses that made our list, but it's important to note that there's nothing to mess around with this one. It stretches along 7,167 yards. The course is also pretty new, being built in 2000 and nine it's again built by you know nick faldo who's going to be building some more courses as he continues his career building and they're good and the golf season goes from may to september the golf course does look pretty reasonable 
with golf rates going about 65 euros to play it. Hopefully, this will be one of the golf courses on our list when we travel to Northern Ireland on our trip across the pond for the channel. Let's zoom on out because we still have six more golf courses to take a look at. And without further ado, we're going to go right back and zoom in to number six. And there's a total of three 18 hole golf courses located at this golf club. And the first one dating back to 1889, totaling 54 holes of golf course has hosted major championships like the Irish Open in 1931 and 1974, the Amateur Championship in 2014, the British Ladies Amateur in 2015, the Irish Open again in 2017. Now there's a lot of great golf courses to choose from. We're going to go with the most notable course here, which would be probably the old course but we're not going to give it to that one because that one stretched to only 4,822 yards. We're going to give it to the one designed by Dees Griffin, and it's par 72 that stretches 7,117 yards or 6,507 meters. The course record here is a par 73 listed on paper and it has a pretty good commercial which is some of the footage that we found on this. Now I will say that this is an opinionated list as we break into number five. We're going to be constantly updating them. That's why you want to subscribe just because you never know. We're doing everything golf related and hopefully we're going to take it to the next level and hit some more golf courses in this area. Let's zoom on out and quickly move in to number five. Fortunately, this is one of those private golf resorts on this list. It did host major championship like the Irish Open in 1933, and it has 27 holes to choose from at this private resort. The main course and the most notable one stretches 6,600 in 87 yards or 6,116 meters. It's a par 71 and in this club was founded in 1895 so there's a ton of history dating almost 128 years ago depending on when you watch this. Now this was one of the most notable courses and it's kind of snuck on, on our list because it shouldn't be maybe a top five but we gave it to it. And with that, the next course on our list isn't the longest course, but it has been ranked a top 10 golf course within the area year in and year out, so we had to give it to them. This one stretches 6,226 yards. It was built in 1896 by David Jones. The golf season goes from May to the end of October. And again, there's three tee boxes to choose from. Not all of them play very long, but you could see right off the bat why this is one of the best golf courses in the country. If you're playing those white tees, you only got 6,268 yards to choose from. And if you're playing the green tees, it's 5,814 yards. The red tees stretches only 5,344 yards, but with some of these spectacular views, I don't think you'll be doing much complaining when you're playing this golf course. And it appears that green fees go for about 115 euros, but let us know if we got that wrong. It looks like it is a public golf course. And green fees could even be cheaper. That might be just the time of the year. Well. There's three more golf courses to take a look at. Some of the best golf in the world in this area to be played. So let's look at our number third golf course on this list. This semi-private link style course is a par 73 that stretches 6,805 yards. The course has a pretty good amount of history being built in 1901 
and an absolute top golf course on every out golf outlet out there and there it is so with just two more golf courses to look at it got pretty difficult deciding the two we put it out there and gave it to this golf course here for number second on our list with a total of 36 holes to play at this golf course it was established in 1888 a good 134 years ago it's hosted some major championships like the open championship in 1951 and again in 2019 and then the amateur championship multiple times i'm not going to list them all well you're going to give it to the course that was designed by harry colt which is another good golf designer this stretches along 7337 yards or 600 600 6709 meters it's a par 71 the other course was you know, built by the same guy and uh, looks like you can go with either or of those link style courses the valley or the doom link well either or it's, it makes our list. If you can get out there and play any of them, let us know on this channel because it does not look like it is a public golf course. Well, there's only one more golf course to take a look at. Let's zoom on in to our number one golf course for this year. And because it's going to change because we're visiting the country, you're going to want to uh, stick around for some of that great footage. And hopefully we can sneak on something like this. And with a total of, again, 36 holes to choose from, this golf establishment was built in 1889, just a, only uh, 133 years ago, only a year off from the last one. It's hosted some major events like the Senior British Open, the Amateur Championship, uh, the Walker Cup, the Irish Open, multiple. We're going to have to give it to the Championship Lynx course here, which was designed by Harry Colt and it stretches along 7,187 yards or 6,571 meters. The course rating is a 75 and the slope is 142. The par is a 71 year. You got this other course that's pretty sneaky and to clear it out it's only a 66 par and a length of 4,600 and 17 well that's going to do it for our list you're going to want to keep a lookout for more videos to come as we continue to play some of the top golf courses on the other side of the pond as we think about going over here and visiting some of the best golf courses that's going to do it keep a lookout for more videos to come this is world twilight go fly. launch control this is houston we are go for launch